Paradox Rift is almost here, and today I'm looking at all the psychic cards coming in the new set. Welcome to Jank Play TCG. My name's Landon, and here we play Jank. And I am still dressed as Professor because I'm recording this almost directly after my lightning uh, video, which I was dressed as a Professor because, um, a Halloween event tonight. So, yeah. Plus, I want to introduce a professor-type character to the channel. See if you guys are interested in that. I need to get glasses. Lenless glasses. So, um, I can do that joke. If you watched my last video, you know what joke I'm talking about. Let's jump into the psychic cards. What everyone's here for. And we start off with a hot one. Not two. One psychic energy. Triple jab. 10x damage. Flip three coins. This attack does 10 damage for each heads. No, we're not actually excited about Natu. We're excited about Zatu here. Uh, Zatu with the ability Akashic Sense? What? How do you say that? Once during your turn, you may attach a basic Psychic Energy card from your hand to one of your benched Pokemon. If you attach energy to a Pokemon in this way, draw two cards. We have seen this before on Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max, the psychic one. Um, that was a three prize, basically stage one. This is a single prize <laughs> stage one. This is so freaking good. Um, yes, I know we have Gardevoir currently in the format. Gardevoir does not draw you cards. Curlia does. Um, Zatu draws you cards, accelerates energy. I think it is phenomenal. Prove me wrong in the comments. Go ahead, try. Um, no, I really do think this is a really good. Um, the drawing cards, attaching energy, it's everything you want in a, you know, single prize card, basically. We had it on a three prize card, and it was good. Now it's a single prize card. How are you going to tell me it's not good now? It's good. You've been warned. Next up, we have Latios. I didn't even look at the attack. That's how good that ability is. Uh, three energy, 80 damage, who cares? Latios. <laughs> Single energy, 20 damage, three energy, 180. Discard three energy from this Pokemon. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I like the 180. I think discarding three is a bit much. Even with energy acceleration, like we have with Zatu, I think discarding three energy is just way too much. I do like that it's discard three and not discard all if it was discard all we would have a bigger issue um but since it is just discard three that means you can over attach and not risk discarding everything just to use this attack so 180 is good and on a single prize pokemon that is good um don't get me wrong i think someone will make a jank deck probably me um about this latios um, I can already see there's no Latias, or did that one come through as Dragon? We'll have to wait and see. It would be interesting to get a Latias without Latias, so that's interesting. Next up, we have Deoxys. With a single energy, does 30 damage. That's what I'm talking about. Single energy, 30 damage is good. That's what we should expect from our basics. We have evolving basics that can't even do that. Deoxys is a basic and can do that. Doesn't evolve. Three energy, uh, genome spiral, 120. Move all energy attached to this Pokemon from your benched Pokemon, or to your benched Pokemon in any way you like. So you can do 120, then move that energy away because Deoxys is going to get KO'd and that energy doesn't go away. That's pretty good. I think the 120 is a little low. Honestly, if it was the 180, like Latios had, I would be a little bit more interested. Even 150... I would be in favor of this. 150, I think, is a key number. Um, doubled uh, for two hit KOs, we're looking at 300. So then we're looking at stage two uh, EXs that we're missing a KO on. Um, and I think that can be fixed through other means. Uh, other ways to increase damage and whatnot. Vitality ban. I know Choice Belt doesn't work out, but when we get a Choice Belt for EX Pokemon, then it will be fixed. Um, yeah, Deoxys is okay. I don't think it's great, uh, sadly. Yamask. Yamask. 
uh, two psychic energy, ominous eyes. They are watching you. Put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So, I like the fact that it's damage counters, not damage, so Mana Feed doesn't protect it, although Jirachi will, we'll see that later on. Um, but yeah, I do think Yamask is interesting. The two energy does kind of kill it for me. When we have Sableye, a uh, non-evolving basic that can do 120 damage, dropping 12 damage counters um, for a single energy, why does Yamask need two to put three? Come on. Um, but it does evolve, so let's check out Cofagrigus EX. Um, I'm excited that Cofagrigus is getting an EX. Ability Gold Coffin. Nice. If this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, search your deck for a card, put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck. Search for a card. Any card is fantastic. I dislike that it is when KO'd, but, you know, it's not going to be Pidgeot, right? Um... But still, it's it's a very good ability to have. Even though you're suffering great loss, you are able to still get something. And then two energy, hollow hands, 110 damage. Put five damage counters on your opponent's bench in any way you like. I like that attack, but I think 110 is just not enough. 120 wasn't enough with Deoxys. How is 110 going to be enough for Cofagrigus, which is a stage one two prize Pokemon? Come on. Um, two energy is nice. Uh, again, that's where I wish Yamask had a single energy attack. Um, putting that five damage counters on your opponent's bench could be important. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see on this one. It's it's good, but not good enough to like justify being a two-prize Pokemon, in my opinion. Give me a single prizer like this, and you probably have me swayed. Um, I would take a single prize Cofagrigus with this ability and attack even if the attack was three energy, right? I, I would like it so much better then. Two energy is nice, but on a two prizer, you're just not gaining enough to justify its cost. Pumpkaboo, Pumpkaboo, single psychic energy, seed bomb, 10 damage. Two colorless energy, reckless charge, 40 damage. This Pokemon also does 20 damage to itself. It's all right, not great. Uh, but we got Gorgeist. Ability Startling Pumpkin. If this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from Pokemon, from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, discard two random cards from your opponent's hand. Ooh, hand disruption. That's pretty nice. Um, then three energy, 100 damage during your opponent's next turn. The defending Pokemon can't retreat. Ah, that's just not enough. Um, maybe, maybe you can pull something together to be a very hand disruptive car. Uh, deck um and maybe that then makes this worth it to where even when your opponent's getting ahead they're actually falling behind i would have to check the order um if this pokemon is knocked out by damage you discard two random cards from your opponent's hand is that after they draw prizes i think it is because like you get the knockout so then you draw prizes and this ability triggers right um so, yeah, I think I think that's the way it works. I'm not 100% sure. I like it more if it's after your opponent draws prizes. I like it less if it's before. And then we've got Philittle. And don't we have, like, a bunch of Philittle? Uh, let's see. Only two. I thought there was a 30 HP one. I could have sworn I saw a 30 HP one at League. Weird. Um, Philittle, or at the pre-release... Uh, one energy, uh, quick attack, 10 plus damage, flip a coin, if heads, this attack does 20 more damage, heck yes, 30 damage, that's what we want to see. Um, we also have another little two psychic energy, 10 plus damage, this attack does 10 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, that could actually be major. Um, you know, we see Pokemon with three energy attached, right? You're looking at 40 damage then. Doubled for weakness would be 80 damage. You're going to tell me a possible 80 damage isn't scary? I think that that's definitely the better for little. Even though it's a two energy attack and I don't like two energy attacks on evolving basics, I think that's the one. Oh, sorry, you can't even see the whole card. There you go. Um, I think that's the one I would play. This quick attack one is nice. The 40 HP does scare me. The 50 HP is a little more comforting. Not majorly, though. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I like that one more. And then we have Esparta. Uh, Espath... 
Pathra? As Pathra. Yeah, I'm going to go with as Pathra. Um, maybe I'm wrong. S ability Stance. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may prevent all damage from and effects of attacks done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Love it. It is such a spicy Pokemon. This is definitely going to be a budget or jank deck for sure. Um, the fact that its attack is what it is too just makes this so much better. But you're telling me that just about every other turn I can have a Pokemon with invincibility in the active is nuts. <laughs> All right, so the attack, two Psychic Energy, Glitter Eyes, a 70 plus. That 70 plus is the major part here. So you are at least doing 70, but if Tulip is in your discard pile, this attack does 70 more damage. That's 140 damage. That's nuts. That is absolutely nuts. Um, I love it. I think it's great, and I think it will be a jank deck or budget deck in some form. Um, at 140, you are two hit KOing Pokemon B Star, and that means um, that you have invincibility, so you can actually do the two hit KO without needing much. So I do like Espartha. You can also two hit KO like stage one uh, EXs and basic EXs, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, next up, we got Tinka Tank. Yeah, I love Tinka Tank. Um, I swear, the time that I actually caught a Tinka Tank, I was training it, and I sent out to battle, seeing it run through the field, waving its rattle was adorable. Uh, Tinka Tank, single psychic energy, mountain rummage, look at the top card of your deck, you may put that into your hand, or, uh, if you don't, discard that card and draw a card. So, it's an attack that's trekking shoes, better than nothing. Uh, single energy, 10 damage, you at least have a choice between the two, right? It's really going to come down to 60 HP, 1 retreat, versus 70 HP, 2 retreat, Tinka Tank. For a psychic, single psychic energy, it does 40 damage during your next turn. This Pokemon can't attack, which you shouldn't want to use that attack over and over again. You should be wanting to evolve into Tinka Tough. Here we go. So, when you evolve up, you remove that effect. So it won't really matter. Um, so single psychic energy. Alloy swing. 20 plus damage. If this Pokemon has any metal energy attached, this attack does 40 more damage. Ooh, spicy. I love it. Um, please tell me that Tinkaton has a similar attack, because we gotta look at Tinkaton. One psychic energy. Crushing blow, 30 damage. Discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. I like the disruptiveness of that. Single psychic energy, alloy hammer. 60 plus um if this pokemon has a metal energy attached this attack does 120 more so 180 damage yes throw on a reversal energy and you are doing this with a single energy i love it this is fantastic this is such a spicy tinkaton and it covers so many bases of like yeah it can discard an energy or it can hit for 180 what is going to be more valuable to you in this moment, do you only have a psychic energy attached? I would probably say go crushing blow if they have a energy on their Pokemon. If they don't, then you might as well do alloy hammer. But if you have a psychic and a metal attached, 180 damage is seriously good. Yes. Sorry. I got way too excited. Um, but yeah, Tinkaton here is fantastic. Highly recommend it. It looks like it would be a fun deck. The only thing I don't like, honestly, is the fact that both uh, attacks or single energy, and then it requires you to put on metal energy, you know? Like, that's a little annoying. A little annoying. That's all I have bad to say about. I guess the 130 HP is lower than we would expect. But you could run this and mix in the Tinkaton EX and even the Tinkaton from, uh, what was it, Scarlet Violet, I think? Where you discard a card and you draw three? Like, you could have a Tinkaton deck. People already have Tinkaton decks. I think this would be a great inclusion. Scream Tail, a new ancient Pokemon. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, one Psychic Energy, 30 damage. Okay, like I've been saying. Basic, single energy, we expect 30. We want 30. Why is it not 30? This one is. 
Psychic Colorless, Roaring Scream. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each damage counter on this Pokemon. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So it can be the bench. That's awesome. For each damage counter on this Pokemon. How do we get damage counters on Screamtail? I'm drawing a blank. If you know how, let me know. I'd love to do it. It's just because I'm tired. I've recorded one video. This is my second video. I am getting so tired. It's sad how little it takes to make me tired nowadays. Um, Gimme Ghoul, I think it has to do with my condition. Um, that doctors still don't know exactly what's going on. Um, we are changing doctors. Gimme Ghoul, single colorless energy. Call for family. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon. Put it on your bench, then shuffle your deck. Why is it not two Pokemon? Give me two Pokemon. Come on, Pokemon Company. You know. You've got to know. We expect two Pokemon from Call for Family. One Pokemon is just bad, right? Come on. Um, two colorless energy, 20 damage. No. Not worth it. Um, another gimme ghoul where we've got a single energy continuous coin toss. 20 damage. Flip a coin until you get tails. This attack does 20 damage for each head. You know, even though it's a 50-50 shot on 20 damage, I like that more than the 2 energy for 20 damage for the above Gimme Ghoul. Although I like the Call for Family more. Even though we expect 2 Pokemon and it's giving us 1, I, I like that more than this Gimme Ghoul. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Here I go shitting on Call for Family just to turn right back around and go, you know what? It's still better than the other decks. Uh, and then uh, the evolution. I'm blanking. I'm blanking. Shoot. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, we will see. Uh, give me gold. Is that it? Is that really it? That's what I'm thinking. Give me gold? Instead of give me cool, it's give me gold. It can't be that. It could be. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, this might be our final. Uh, yeah, it is. So we've got Iron Valiant and some ads for t-shirts. Uh, Iron Valiant EX, which I think is a bit nuts. Once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to the active spot, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. This seems a little nuts. This is a future Pokemon. So there is a tool you can attach to give it free retreat. Right? 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 Um, what's nuts about this is that you could have four Iron Valens out. You could use all of your Switch or all of your Escape Ropes or a retreat in three of those or mix them up. I don't care. You could trigger this four times in a single turn. Once per turn per Iron Valiant and put eight damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Whichever, I don't care, pick one. Um, <laughs> sorry, that was a bit rude. <laughs> um, three, energy, laser blade, 200 damage. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. The can't attack thing doesn't matter. We are, our goal, our dream, is to move this Pokemon to the bench as many times as we can and when you move to the bench and you come back into the active, that this can't attack this next turn doesn't matter. The effect has removed from the Pokemon when it goes to the bench. So, fantastic. This is going to be one awesome Pokemon. I struggle to think of a partner with it. Like, yeah, you'd want Zatu there to accelerate energy, but you can only have, what, two maximum in play? Is that enough energy acceleration to and draw to make you want to play this? Because you're attaching two with the Zatu, one from hand, that's three per turn, which is exactly how much you need, but you have nothing else. It's just Zatu and Iron Valiant. Right? That, that, that doesn't seem great. But it could be. Let me know your favorite psychic Pokemon down in the comments. I would love to know what you're looking forward to in Paradox Rift. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead, like this video. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the rest. Which we're coming up on the end. We're like halfway there. Um, not even.
not even. Why would I lie? Uh, but be sure to subscribe uh, to keep up to date on the rest of the set review of Paradox Rift. Um, also, be sure to check out the Discord, where we've got some fantastic deck builders, and we're constantly talking jank cards. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. And of course, until next time, keep playing jank.